Hi all, welcome to new class. Today's class is about cathode ray oscilloscope that is CRO. A cathode ray oscilloscope is an electronic instrument that provides visual representation of any waveform applied to its input terminals. It is used to measure voltage and time. And the CRI is used in many fields such as engineering, biology and medicine. And these are the main parts of a CRO. The cathode ray tube, a low voltage and high voltage power supplies, a linear time based generator and synchronizing circuit and vertical and horizontal amplifiers. So let us study about this CRO in details. So first part is cathode ray tube that is the main part of the CRO is the cathode ray tube. Next is cathode ray tube. The cathode ray tube is the heart of CRO and this is the basic structure of cathode ray tube and the main components of the cathode ray tube or CRT are electron gun assembly, accelerating anodes, deflection system, then fluorescent screen and evacuated glass envelope. So these are the main components of CRT. So let us study about these components in detail. First one is electron gun assembly. So electron gun assembly consists of the indirectly heated cathode. So this is cathode. This is cathode. Then a control grid. So these are control grids G. Then pre-accelerating anode A1. Then this is focusing anode A2. And accelerating anode A3. So these are the components of electron gun. The purpose of the electron gun assembly is to provide a source of electrons converged and focused into a well defined beam which is accelerated towards the fluorescent screen. And the electrons are emitted from the hot cathode due to the thermionic emission. And the control grid maintained at negative voltage determines the amount of electron flow. The electrons emitted from the cathode and passing through the hole. So there is a hole here. So the electrons emitted from the cathode passing through the hole in the control grid are accelerated by the high positive potential which is applied to the pre-accelerating and accelerating anode. The electron beam is focused by the focusing anode A2. So, the electrons emitted from the cathode are accelerated by the pre-accelerating anode and accelerating anode and focused by the focusing anode A2. So these two are discussed. Next is deflection system. After the electrons leave the electron gun assembly, they pass through a region controlled by the deflection plates. The deflection system consists of a pair of horizontal deflection plates and vertical deflection plates. So, horizontal deflection plates are called X plate. Vertical deflection plate are called Y plates. A positive voltage applied to the X plate will deflect the beam towards the right. That is positive X axis. That is, if we apply positive voltage to the X plate, the beam will deflect towards the positive x-axis that is in this direction 
Similarly, if a negative voltage is applied to the X plate, negative voltage to the X plate, then the beam deflected towards the minus X axis, that is left. And if we apply a positive voltage to the Y plate, that is positive voltage to the Y plate, then the beam will deflect vertically upwards, that is positive Y axis. Similarly, if we apply negative voltage to the Y plate, the beam will deflect downwards, that is minus Y axis. So, the amount of deflection is directly proportional to the potential across these plates. Next is fluorescent screen. So, this is the fluorescent screen. The screen is usually coated with a thin layer of phosphor. When the electron beam strikes so this is electron beam. When the electron beam strikes the phosphor, a spot of light is produced. Because the phosphor absorbs kinetic energy from the electrons that strike it and then gives up the energy in the form of light. So the phosphor converts this kinetic energy or the electrons energy into light energy and this property of phosphor emitting light when stimulated by electron bombardment is called fluorescence next is the evacuated glass envelope the inner walls of the flared part of the tube except for the screen is coated with a conducting graphite substance called aqua dark. So, these portions that is the glass portions of this one are coated with a conducting graphite substance called aqua dark. It is maintained at the same potential as the focusing anode A2 and the coating performs two functions. It accelerates the electron beam to the screen to produce spot of light after it passes between the deflecting plates. Also, the coating, the, the, this coating collects the secondary electrons and returns them to the cathode. So, this is the beam of electrons. The function of the aqua dog is to accelerate the electron beam to the screen to produce a spot of light after it passes between the deflecting plates. Also, this coating collects the secondary electrons. That is, after this strike of this electron beam, some are scattered some electrons are scattered and that electrons are collected by the coating and that are called the secondary electrons and returns them to the cathode so this is the cathode ray tube so that is about the cathode ray tube that is the electron gun assembly consists of the cathode then control grid G. Then this is the pre-accelerating anode A1. And this is focusing anode A2. Then accelerating anode A3. Then this is the vertical deflection plate. That is Y plate. Then this is horizontal deflection plate X plate. Then this is the inner coating aqua dark. And this is the phosphor coating. And this is the electron beam which strikes on the phosphor coating. And this is the evacuated glass envelope. Next is block diagram of CRO. So CRO consists of 
CRT, then vertical amplifier, horizontal amplifier, trigger circuit, speed generator and power supplies. So first one is CRT, so it is the main part of the CRO and it displays the quantity being measured. And next is vertical amplifier, also called a Y amplifier. The voltage signal which is to be measured is applied to the input of the amplifier. The Y amplifier is a device which multiplies a voltage which is then fed to the Y plates of the CRT. So the output of this Y amplifier is fed to the Y plates of the CRT. Then the multiplying factor is known as the gain of the amplifier. And the gain of the amplifier can be varied in steps by means of a control knob on the front panel. Then next is trigger circuit. It is used to start the horizontal sweep of a specific instant with respect to the waveform under observation. Triggering or synchronization is achieved by making a connection between the Y amplifier and the time base. Synchronization has to be done to observe a stationary pattern on the screen. Next is sweep generator. It produces a sawtooth voltage and causes a horizontal deflection of the spot proportional to time. Next is horizontal amplifier also called X amplifier. The time base voltage that is the sawtooth is fed to the X plate through the X amplifier. Horizontal amplifier is used to cause a deflection proportional to a signal at the horizontal terminal. Next is power supply. The power supply has two sections, high voltage section and a low voltage section. This power supply unit provides voltages required by CRT to generate and accelerate an electron beam and voltages required by other circuits of CRO such as vertical amplifier, horizontal amplifier, etc. Then the high voltage section provides high voltage of order 1 kV to 2 kV. And the low voltage section provides the voltage for the heat of the electron gun. So that is about CRO or cathode ray oscilloscope. So in the next class, let us discuss about Lissage's patterns. So thank you for watching the class. If you like the classes, please like, share and subscribe my channel.